golem is, is a creature from Jewish mythology. It's uh, a creation of man that collects all the bits of pieces. Well, the golem essentially is made of mud and creates something of uh, sheer power and something that haven't existed before and give us opportunities and possibilities never seen before. We are quite convinced that uh, not so far into the future, internet will be much more decentralized than it is today. And uh, this will require new infrastructure. And Golan, Golan seems to be the ultimate solution to this problem. Not only to distribute computation, but decentralized distributed computation. Golan is, is, is a new way of distributing computing between uh, computers over the public network. Where users can sell their redundant computation power to users who need it. This means that you can compute uh, your know, task on other people's machines. Technically, Golem is a peer-to-peer -peer network, meaning that users join on an equal basis and there's no central authority or uh, no one is more important than anyone else. You can use Golem for scientific computation, for AI, artificial intelligence. This requires quite a lot of computation and distribute it. You can split it into small tasks. I don't know, in chemistry, for example, you can search for new molecules. Golem would do the job perfectly. For example, when you are an artist or an architect that has created this 3D model of a house and we like to see a photorealistic image of it. So he can use Golem, split this task into smaller parts, then send it to the network. And each person uh, will compute a small part of the image and they will compute uh, this in the same time so everything will be quicker and then the results will be sent back on the artist machine and Golem will put it together. Weather modeling, folding proteins, uh, research uh, for new medicals. Or even uh, mining cryptocurrencies. I would say that the sky is the limit. Distributed computing is nothing new. You have it in a cloud, you have it uh, even in hosting of services, you have it in a cloud storage. So what is really new that we plan to use not a bunch of servers somewhere in Google or in Amazon, but we want to give you a possibility of using the power of computers around you, contributed to the network by other people, your neighbors or people living in the same country or in the same continent for money. So you pay them for using their computers. And this is uh, where Golem with its uh, significantly lower prices will be a very, a very attractive alternative. And of course, not we will pay the money, but other users who are in need of additional computing power will pay for using other users' computers. The economics of our business model comes down to commissions for every transaction between users of Golem network. So this means there will be a fee on every completed computing task or uh, on every unit of time, software as a service is applied to complete these tasks. Users can join Golem to become producers or consumers on, of computational resources or to switch be between the two roles. This means that uh, we will uh, join the market of software as a service and infrastructure as a service, which could potentially grow by $40 billion over the next few years. Just the idea that you could rent your idle computing resources for money uh, seems to be a very obvious way of uh, organizing uh, internet. But uh, that is the technical part that is difficult. And uh, this is what we spent last year on. The first one is transaction system and payment system. For microtransactions, the transaction fees, with, even with Bitcoin, are uh, uh, so, so large that they will sum up to an amount that is bigger than the payment. Okay, so we have to come up with some micropayment scheme. We're going to use Ethereum. Ethereum is a new blockchain technology that can be used to implement a contract that would, using some sort of lottery, send the money to participants. A user that has to pay organizes a lottery in which only one participant gets paid. This uh, lottery approach may seem unfair for most uh, of the participants. But if a user uh, takes part in a lot of lotteries over a period of, say, a few weeks, then over time, in the long run, uh, her uh, income would be predictably the same as if she were paid uh, small amounts each time. 
provided that you still take part in computation. That should make people more interested in taking part in it, we believe. So uh, you can imagine a golem uh, as uh, some kind of extension of Ethereum that will bring market for sharing computing powers to the table. There will be a problem with unfair users. For example, we can imagine a situation where there in the network are users who, wants to be, who want to be paid, but they don't want to compute anything, or they just send a wrong results. We implement ranking protocol, especially for them, so that they won't take part in computation and the network in general. We know that they can appear from time to time, but we have to get rid of them as soon as possible so that other participants simply can do their job. At the end of the day, we hope that Golem will not only give scientists and uh, businessmen a new way of doing computation, but will also change the way internet is working. Golem, for me, is a challenge. It's a very challenging problem, but the problem that we know how to solve. And yeah, it's undertaking that I believe can result in something spectacular.